So I'm going to get a tube put down my throat tomorrow. I'm a little nervous about it. Sounds terrible. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, Hi, Barry. Tell me more about your tube throat. Tell me no. more, tell me more. Does she live on the floor? In one minute, I'm not allowed to eat anymore until tomorrow afternoon. That's oh, no. no. Dude, dude, eat a steak right now. No, yeah, I don't dude. have a steak in front what of me. What are you doing so sitting happening. here not eating? I'm yeah. doing the stream. And then at midnight, I can't drink anymore until tomorrow afternoon. Oh, God. So I'm going to get lots of water in after the stream. Jeez, man. This is rough. I hey, hope Barry, I'm very you... knocked out when they do it. Cause I don't I'm think they knock it. you out for it. I think they'll knock me out because I'm going to choke on it super hard. Did you not ask? No, she said they knock you out, but like I don't know if it's like when they say knock you out, do they mean like you're still sort of lucid or do they mean like you're unconscious? I probably should have okay. asked at the time. Quick question, what did Mama say? Cause... Mama said oh, knock you out, but I right. Mama's not doing the procedure. Mm -hmm. Throw That's Mama off the train. Point. Yes. Mama just killed a man. Mm. That's oh, we could do. <laughs> we could do lots of you choked on me jokes after that. That's good. Oh yeah, yeah there you go. Quality. Anyway, I won't be on the show tomorrow. <laughs> we got a fucking problem. <laughs> yeah, you're opening that too loud. <laughs> you are opening it. <laughs> All right, loud. Fair enough. <laughs> My apologies. God, streamer eating on stream. So unprofessional. I'm being straight up with you. Yeah. I don't think streaming is a very difficult job. Yeah. But I get so fucking hungry. <laughs> yeah, it I, sucks the energy yeah. out of you in I a bizarre don't, way. I, I really think it's like the first, when I was a kid, I was like, you know, oh, exercise makes you hungry. Now I'm like, the brain is working like 180%. Capacity during the stream. It's like overclocked. Yeah, I need, That's to, eat like a how you do it. I need to eat like a granola bar an hour No, mental fatigue is like a real thing man. How'd you overclock hey, your head? You think you're just saying it but like for real it really makes you incredibly hungry I in know a way that yeah. I, nothing else I've done has made me that hungry I'm with you dude. I'm pretty hungry just all the time. Mmm. Mm, yeah. Yeah, me too for obvious reasons I think I could actually eat like an infinite amount of food I'm really yeah. glad you didn't say infant, because it really sounds like... <laughs> well, if you're offering. Anyway. <laughs> um, like, when you guys get a pizza, what's your, yeah. like, this is a normal serving of pizza for when the pizza first arrives, and you're excited about it? All right, take two slices every time. Two slices, Please. yeah. I'm going to take you on a journey with me here. Please, like, yes. Ooh, yeah. I can get a pizza, and if I, if I'm not actively aware of what's going on, it'll like it'll go away. Yeah, just slice by slice by slice. So it's just so tasty. I'm with it's you, so dude. Good. It doesn't even seem like it's really filling up that much space either, because you can just keep going with that shit. And it's it's so form fitting to eat. It's so convenient. <laughs> it's the best. And it's then so, it's the exact shape of your stomach. I you know. <laughs> So can we, can I actually, so when I, uh, we were doing E3 the other day, we were on webcam and we had pizza and a lot of people were in my chat and it's like, oh my God, that pizza is so massive. It's it disgusting. Is. I saw well, that and I, I felt your rage because <laughs> people were okay. like, that pizza looks like shit. Yeah. I live in Croatia and pizzas here don't look like that. And I'm like, you can't <laughs> just... <laughs> We can make fun of New York for like a lot of things, but I'm sure the pizza was fine. The pizza, that, actually, that pizza place is very good. But, um, but I will say that like typically, like here, the minimum, unless you're getting like a personal pizza or like a like a particularly small pizza on purpose, the minimum is gonna be a 16 inch pizza. That's that's gonna be what it is. What that's now? I'm even. Large area. I'm extremely yeah. mad because that is a girth. And you clearly do have some concept of how to interpret that. Yeah, that's a great point. That's a great I don't, point. I don't know. I, I like. Is that so? Is that sixteen across? Like, what is that? You know, now I actually I do assume not that's know. what it was. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it, it is it's, across. It's, not a, it's a sixteen yeah, yeah. in length. Yeah. yeah. You, but you, you know, the, the girth is the two pi r. It's the circumference, right? Two I don't think you're now. really. What? You, no. You've got girth? all the tools to measure the girth if you know the sixteen incher. Not but sure. what's pie? <laughs> we're missing. We're missing a pizza. One. Yeah, missing no, there was a pizza sorry. pie yeah, joke yeah, somewhere in there. Diameter is the one that goes from the outer edge to the center point. That's the yes. radius. Yeah, that's, right, the, that's radius. the radius. Okay. Radius. So but yeah, it is two stupid because okay, the yeah. diameter is uh, just <laughs> twice the radius. It's like yeah, come right. up with, make up your mind. 
Hey, welcome what to do you think lab. would happen if we found you? the end of Pi? I had a dream that you were all together. Hmm. Oh, you know, like there is an end? You like could shut like up about it after that <laughs> point. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> We could stop using it and just replace it with the number. It's so much more convenient. Right, yeah. Okay, so someone in my chat says pizzas are measured by diameter, girth is by circumference. Yeah, but the, good to know. The circumference is a property of the diameter for talking about the circle, though. Well, yeah, but it's not the same. Thing. Why do you think there's an end to pi? I got, well, no, I gotta interrupt here because chat's like, there is no end, idiot. Use your fucking <laughs> imagination. Maybe you just haven't tried hard enough. <laughs> it's like when you're trying to unwrap your tangled headphones, you know? You're like, I'm never gonna get this done. Then you just find the terminus and you start pulling from there. What a yeah, weird know, coincidence in the set of prompts. Wasn't there some kind of pie news recently? There was like something with an AI and pie and... We had pie day a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right, that must absolutely. be what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah, you're thinking of pie day? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was it, yeah, you're right. I mean, that is news. No. So stop it isn't. shaming me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think pie ends. It doesn't. No. But the idea is is that if it doesn't, it would imply that it's a simulation. It would imply, you mean. Wait, why would it imply? Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Why would because it imply that it's a simulation? Because it wouldn't it would imply it. Be because you can't have an infinite like a faster Sequence. way to get home from the land of Oz is to <laughs> click your heels three times and say, anyone have lift? Or click your heels three times and say nothing and then wait for the bus to arrive. Okay, I gotta get to the bottom of this pie question because this it sounds really It that there is a, the, a simulation on the has. computer. There's a finite amount of space, so you can't store an oh, infinite sequence hey, that's, that's on this computer. Surprisingly yeah. astute observation. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if it's infinite, it we're not in a simulation. Yes. But, but we, we can't, can't ever know the end to an infinite right. number. That's that's kind of the, the whole. So thing. this is not a question. It's just moot. Yes. Speaking it's, of it's pie, philosophy. it's philosophy. It's theoretical. Okay. I like chocolate satin pie. <laughs> Ooh, that is good. <laughs> how, how do you guys feel about lemon meringue? Not bad. Not bad. I like it. I'm a big fan. I like key lime. But when does it end? <laughs> you never know. The toy surprise <laughs> in an unhappy meal. An Arby's sandwich or a pepperoni and a coin? Yeah, what if our understanding of math is fundamentally wrong? It could imply that too, yeah, but I, I don't think that would. That would be crazy. All the math we know is completely based on the wrong thing. I don't but think anyone point, in chat is real. The point of math <laughs> is that math isn't like we made up math. Math doesn't actually I know. Yeah, exist. some old it's... Greek dude, the year zero. We're still <laughs> oh, the going around saying it like it's gospel. No, I know it, it's not real, but it still could be based on like a false concept that we could correct better. Oh, right? That there's a equation in it. I feel like math is more real than language or or, or something it, like that. Yeah, it does map kind of to more real to things. Yeah. Only here on the NLSS can you go from cam discussions <laughs> to the philosophy <laughs> of math. <laughs> from nobody who holds a math or a philosophy degree. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. The one phrase the NSA <laughs> the one phrase the NSA is tired of watching us type into Google. Why can't I use five fingers on campsite or geometry porn? <laughs> Don't the majority of us hold degrees though? Yeah. I yeah. took one philosophy and one math class in college. <laughs> I'm not trying to justify it. I'm, I'm not just kidding. I was just curious at that point. I know. You think that's, I'm why I'm, not... that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what they call pooping in the land of Oz. Waiting for the bus or paving the yellow brick road. Yeah, so if like... you have three apples, you know that the mapping of our number three maps to the apples, but the name apple is completely made up. Yeah. Let me That's yeah, what Rob was trying to say. So is yeah. the name three. The concept no. of their Yeah, but the concept three. of three, not the number well, that, three. Wasn't yeah. that kind of made up too, though? Like, No. Hey, Taffy, I'm real and I want to eat your butthole. Oh, see, now you're definitely not real. No one wants to do that. I don't think about do that. when you, you can break down math because, like, the idea of infinity, right? Like, in math, there are multiple kinds of infinity. But in life, not only is there not infinity, but there's, there's not multiple kinds of infinity because what do you there mean? is no what infinity. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I am galaxy braining right now. <laughs> what do you mean that there's yeah. not infinity in real life? Oh, thank you. You can't have infinity. Nothing is infinite. 
How do we know that? There could be infinite bacteria in the universe. There could be infinite space in- Chat, the only way to stop this bit is to use your bits. Use your bits <laughs> now on twitch.tv slash northern lion and stop this bit today. Cheer the brains away. I mean, the universe could be infinite. We don't know. Well, Austin's saying it's not, but I don't know why he knows that. It's, we, we can't know. know, yeah, we can't know that it is or it isn't, doesn't mean infinity exists. Well, there's some bits. You guys have to stop now. <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking at the tip of my dick the other day. There we go. That's more like it. Wait, why have don't we, we have about quaternions two, yet? Why don't we have two holes, one for piss and one for cum? That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, agree. I agree with that. You I'm got me. Yeah, I'm off infinity I'm, I'm, now. I agree, yeah. You think, like, eventually we'll evolve to that? Do you think humans are still capable of evolution? Booty infinity. Yes! Yeah, What like, do you mean? For, for sure? It's not a yeah. thing that we're capable of, it just is. But, like, rapid evolution, though. I'm talking about, like, developing another hole for your dick within the next 25 years. Like, on my present dick, or, like... <laughs> well, that, that only happens in, like, bot flies, so, yeah. like, I don't think any... It's like, uh, nothing, really. Caternians are, like, the, the Unity dev... D-A-E? Like, right. well, if you think filing your taxes is hard, you should never look at Caternians. I'm like, it's a, it's a rotation. It sounds like an ancient race. <laughs> <laughs> People picture it, they picture like that endless knot. Yeah. You know, where does it start? Where does it end? It's like really a Mobius just, fractal. <laughs> it's just kind of like a rotation. It's the fourth dimension, isn't that weird? A fun <laughs> trick to play on your doctor. Pretend you're dead and then go boo, or never see him, then blame him when you die. <laughs> Good yeah. prank, bro. Would I just write that in my will? Like, I blame you, doctor. I haven't seen you in 50 years. <laughs> that, no, the autopsy would be like, well, he could have avoided dying had he been to his doctor oh. over the last 30 years. <laughs> Here's a hard-hitting question. Uh, Is it still evolution if we genetically modify our own genes? Because we're the ones responsible for it, but we're also of ultimately natural origins. See, I was thinking about bringing this up, but I figured it was best not to. I mean, I well, think, yeah. still monkeys, Rob. <laughs> no, that's not why. I'm just saying, like... A rejected probably... shape for marshmallow peeps. Baby chicken or marshmallow default. I'm telling you, we got to talk about science or porn. We're really just, like, on the one or two right now. Yeah, Chad, would you prefer the porn or the science? Can we do math-based porn? Geometry sure, porn? Yeah. Numbers Geometry, fucking. Yeah. What's the sexiest number? 69. Let me no, answer. like a That's single digit. Obvious. I'm gonna an single. answer your question with another seven. question. Why is six afraid of seven? Afraid of seven, because seven ain't nine. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, this problem. <laughs> the name of a font nobody would ever use. Dong dings or Wong dongs. Yep. Went, went in the same direction on that one, huh? I just wanted to appreciate the consistency. <laughs> anyway, continue. Eight's got curves. Everyone's saying eight. <laughs> oh, because yeah. if you turn it sideways, it's booty infinity. Yeah, eight is pretty sexy. Isn't that right, a Stanley yeah. Parable thing? I kind of like nine. Why? Because it's got something for everybody. It's got a it's hole. It's got a hole and a protrusion. Next oh, that's yeah. fair. And if it's you like, turn it's, it nine, it's like degrees, a Swiss it Army like knife. Chicken balls. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's what's better, six or nine? Ladies oh, love my bosses. protrusion. <laughs> well, if the typography is correct, I mean, it's just a reflection of the other yeah. one, so... Which one gets the line? Neither. I feel like I always end up with that question. Whenever I play a board game, they always put a line under one of them. But uh, then the, whenever I, the I, oh, whenever I roll it, nine, I have to be yeah. like, wait, do they put the line under the six or the nine? We got uh, Magic the Gathering decks at GameStop yesterday, me and Jess, and uh, they came with dice, and they do a little dot at the bottom right. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Zero never gets any love. It's, yeah, it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. It'll listen, work out. Listen, bitch. Coming up next, <laughs> it's not a dice, really motherfucker. It's a, a spin die. down counter <laughs> in order to right. measure oh. your life. <laughs> You're when you look right. at That's a dice, it, yeah. does it go one, two, three, four, five, six contiguously? That would lead to clumped variance and weighted rolls. <laughs> Didn't know what, you're so passionate about this. What really cracked the Liberty Bell? <laughs> it looked at your face or Patty's Pub? I had this happen many times. Well, twice, but that's more than it ever should have. Where you'd be at Friday Night Magic and you'd be like, roll to see who goes first, and you'd use your spin down, and the person would be like, Nah, we're gonna use this dice because it's more random. Yeah. All right, 
It's gonna be. You know what? I resign and. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would. I would probably shoot myself. That it's gonna be one of those. So <laughs> you can take the win on this one. Well, actually, during your main phase, you can't declare. Uh, Talk about the stack. Oh, come on! If it's the rules, <laughs> don't get mad at that guy. Judge! Oh my god! Sorry, <laughs> I really wanted to lean into that one. <laughs> the shit out of me! <laughs> I got a real I question got... related to this, by the way. Okay. How do you feel about using the bathroom in the airport where the sign is a baby, and it's meant to be used for changing babies, but also has a perfectly good shitter in there? I thought the yeah. changing thing happens outside of the stall. I'm yeah, not it's sure. It's usually outside, isn't it? It's like a stand. The ones we have here is like a standalone bathroom. There's a toilet and a table. And like a little Everybody's garbage can you put the baby poop into. Okay, in this round, you, have three <laughs> you know what I mean? Room specifically specifically designated <laughs> for waifus, flying, Tom Hanks, Kid Rock, or pooping, silly. Tom Hanks and Kid Rock in the same place. No one's ever photographed them together. I gave all my points to Tom Hanks. That'd be I wild, like man. Right? <laughs> What if they're both Leonardo DiCaprio doing some catch me if you can kind of shit? Mm, dude, I got 40 minutes into The Departed. It's pretty good. I remember watching that in pieces when I worked in the movie theater. So I would go in and just like stand there for three minutes. Yeah. What is it like to work in a movie theater? It's fine, you know. It's it's like a it's a kid job. It's a teen job where you're. It's just, it's just like working any other like convenience store job or mm. fast food gig, except except you're giving people movie tickets. See, what I Dude. would think is, like, after they close the movie theater, they'd be like, hey, we're running the movie for one more show for all the staff. But I'm imagining that that doesn't actually happen. I got, no, I mean, like, it wasn't really a party. It was sort of just, I mean, my bosses were not happy where they were, and it was pretty obvious, oh. and they all just sort of... Did went through the motions. I'm not going to be able to find a lot of humor in this. I'm realizing what I'm telling these anecdotes. Tell me more. I can pivot. <laughs> Dude, I can tell you. I can tell you. Tell you more. I got a movie anecdote since we just went to two movies yesterday. Oh yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, the first movie, I literally, we literally could have just stolen the tickets mm -hmm. because there was no one at the. You know the the thing up That's front the that the person's Let's supposed to check the yeah. tickets, and that happens all the time where I go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I was just Dude. pissed because I was like, I could have just saved, I could have saved a bunch of money. I just walked into that fucking movie. Well, let uh, me blow your mind. Supported the people who made the movie. Well, you could yeah. steal anything from anywhere <laughs> if no one's there to catch you. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. not just at the movie theater. Dude, let me jump in real quick because one time I was working at that position on a Sunday when no one was showing up. I literally fell asleep at the position. Oh. <laughs> Somebody had to come and knock on the glass and be like, hey, can we get a ticket? They're getting all our movie juice for free. <laughs> the other anecdote is going to make you all very angry at me. I think I um, know but funny one is. Because, <laughs> because last time I brought this up, people were like very against me where I was just like, where I said, you know what, like straight up, I would, if they let me, if I could have watched Avengers Infinity War at home and paid for it, I would have done it instead yeah. of watching it at the movie theater because I don't envy the, I don't, I don't, I don't wish for the movie theater experience. Um, and the reason is because when, when we went into Avengers Infinity War yesterday, there was the entire movie, there was just a chirping sound the whole time. <laughs> it was just like, bring, 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 bring for like three hours, all right? And wow, that sounds awful. There was a child behind us that every time a character came onto the screen, which was a lot because it's the most <laughs> ambitious crossover in it. Every time a character would be like, that's Loki. Like, God, <laughs> kill me, kill me. And he's, yeah, he's like, this is the part where Loki well, yeah, amazing. Yeah, that sounds pretty awful. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna double. All right, fuck it, I'm doing it. Doubling down in the worst possible way. <laughs> this is, I just. I'm I gonna think I know this. which one you got to. I'm gonna regret this, man. Holy shit! I, di I didn't go very far on it, so I think you're gonna win. Mm. Is the good news. Listen, Rob. <laughs> what if he was explaining what was happening on screen to a show. blind person? Right, yeah, okay, yeah, that could be, could be, it's possible. A really odd thing to say on your deathbed. Bye, bitch, or you're gonna eat that looking at own dick. Oh, <laughs> all right. 
This sounds like me, but I didn't write it. So my movie anecdote is that the last one I went to, they had a commercial before the movie for Regal Cinemas, uh, which is the, the the group, the movie theater that I went to. And it was apparently made by two girls in Minnesota or something. And they were like showing off how proud they were that they made this movie. And then at the end, it was just them at saying, do you want to get a start in the movie industry? Work at Regal. Hmm. Yeah, seems misleading. Hmm. That's not how that's that works. Yeah. I, yeah, that's not how. Yeah, I movie. wouldn't say that oh, mo movie theaters are the movie industry exactly. Yeah, popcorn industry for sure. The worst name for a mountain. Yafiala Yokel or Ricky. I will not stand for these stabs at the Icelandic culture. <laughs> there. I have a question. Yeah. Did you answer the same thing for both of your prompts? Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, this one's gonna be good. <laughs> I'm, I'm into it, yeah. A crazy thing to find during a colonoscopy. Your family or Norman fetus? <laughs> nice. Did you know that that Pizza Pasta song is about a volcano? The dun 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 um, sorry, no, I, I didn't know, know that. that pasta is, you know, so I'm, I'm not sure if I... <laughs> pizza, pizza, pasta! Put it in <laughs> yeah. a box, deliver it to my house, and put it on my cock, my cock, my ass hug. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those are the canon lyrics? Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> this is the meme put lyrics. It on my cock, my cock, my cock, my cock. <laughs> Yeah, funiculi funicula. Dude, being an opera singer is all sorts of fucked up. I know it's not really opera, but... Something you should never, Something you should say, never to say to your mother. Is this it? <laughs> you gonna eat that? Looking at own dick. It's a little switcheroo! Yeah. Or, I'm your father. Yeah. yeah Alright. <laughs> is anyone in chat, like, an opera singer? Why? Do you ever, do you yeah, ever get pissed? I think pissed? Out as soon as you said that. They make you sing in whatever language the opera was originally written in? Right, yeah. So you have to be like pan-lingual. Yeah, well, I mean, you probably just have to recite the words. I don't think you need to know what they mean necessarily. You tell me? Oh, wow, there's there's literally hundreds of opera singers in chat. Yeah, I can <laughs> sing yeah, Despacito. That doesn't make me, you know... Someone Dude, did you hear they announced Despacito 2 at E3? A sign that your kid isn't good at sports. He's the star of home movies, or he asked if the goalie was fucking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Yeah. I know that reference. That's an internet thing. Despacito. <laughs> Hey Ryan, remember this one? Mm. It's my mashed potatoes. Once a week, that worms its way back into my brain. <laughs> That, and especially that. the part where she says it's the one dish everybody hates, which is just an arbitrary <laughs> rhyme because everybody <laughs> loves mashed potatoes. The line doesn't make any sense. Yeah, why didn't she just say everybody <laughs> loves? Can, can I just say, by the way, that doesn't <laughs> rhyme with potato, bear. Yeah, but that's like <laughs> the level of quality they aspire to. <laughs> by the way, that's a fucking 4chan meme, you posers. You chat, you mean posers. I will say that movie theaters are useful for understanding the industry, though. Theaters make about a dollar on your ticket, uh, as the studios set the cost and take most of the profits, and yet are critical to the success of the film. Working there does give you a good perspective on how to do the politicking of the movie industry. You're flooding the shit out of me for this. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah I, I was trying to read it, and it kept scrolling up. Any opinion, Rob? Uh... <laughs> As someone who I mean, went to high school with Zazzy Beats, <laughs> what's your input on this? Hey, I'm a, I'm a big film nerd. <laughs> I don't know, maybe if you're in management, I suppose, but I, I don't think you're going to be dealing with the license agreements with like AMC or anything, so I, I don't know. It seems silly. Like, I don't think you're going to learn any, uh, what's it called? Hollywood, uh... Hollywood Knights, Bob Seeger. Yeah, Hollywood, no, I, I meant Hollywood yeah. accounting. The worst name for a country singer. Okay. Jean-Pierre Beyonce or Despacito? Name three famous Bobs that aren't Saget. Bob Seger. Bob Dylan. Richitelli. Bob, Bob Dylan. Bob Hope. All right, good job. Just keeping you honest. Bob Barker. At any point in your life, somebody could come up to you and ask you to name three things that are in common with one thing, but you can't say the obvious one. <laughs> Welcome to Code Names. <laughs> Name three foods that start with L. None of them are lasagna. Three foods that start with 
Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I, I thought my brain died a little bit for a second there. Lemon uh, lasagna. <laughs> a really stupid idea for a phone app that would still make you millions of dollars. Putinier or emoji pool? Is that like emoji, emoji billiards or like? Yeah. Oh yeah, each ball is like an emoji face. Oh. I get it. But hear me out. You could play emoji pool in a pool. Hmm. And? It's like how Zelda has multiplayer because you can discuss the ending with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys ever catch the loach? I don't think I ever have actually. You never caught the loach? Okay, that was a very aggressive reaction. <laughs> That's what I nicknamed my penis. I thought of all people, you'd be the one that caught the loach first. I That's feel like very... I should have caught it because I loved the fishing in that game and I could just sucked at it. Come up with a Go name catch the loach! Yoga pose known <laughs> to mankind. Come up with a name for the most difficult yoga pose known to mankind. The inward facing dog or the interpose? <laughs> <laughs> uh... You guys ever do yoga? Yeah. yeah. No. no. Yeah. More like Noga. I did Tai Chi once, does that count? Kinda? It's like basically yoga. <laughs> <laughs> I think Rob needs some yoga is what it sounds like. <laughs> She's so cold. Yoga fire! <laughs> you doing yoga, Bear? Uh, yeah. Not like actively, but I'm, I'm, you know, every now and then we do it. How is it? It's helpful. It's nice, like, you, you awaken parts of your body you didn't realize needed to be activated. Huh. Okay, you don't need to be a like uh, your <laughs> like uh, third eye. Wonderful positive energies and the auras that I've experienced are unlike any other. Did you ever do the one? I think it's called Bikram yoga, where they put you in a like a sauna while you're mm. doing it. It's not like a Korean pop pop hot, song. That's, hot there's yoga. also hot yoga. Mm. But I think I think that's that. the same thing. A weird thing for the letters in your alphabet soup to suddenly spell out. You want some soup or pull out your own heart? <laughs> <laughs> I love that that idea. That's so hilarious to me. Hot yoga. Yanking your own heart out. Check it and see. Your yoga teacher is called something yogi. Come on, baby. Don't you do, do you more do than more dance? Than yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hot yoga. Hot yoga. <laughs> a name for a new cereal that's for that's for adults only. Fucky charms or dickos. Ooh, fucky charms, pretty good. Yeah, content. Oh, yeah. They always fucking me, fucky charms. <laughs> that's just a Rick and or a Rick and Morty um, <laughs> interdimensional cable right there. Mm. Oh no, they already did that though with the the ones with the eat and the yeah yeah, yeah they yeah, did actually. Uh, by the way, time. I'm the bathtub oh. guy. Yeah, you're gonna be. <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew it, dude. But that doesn't matter. I'm the bathtub guy. I'm the guy in the yeah. bathtub. That's kind of your thing, right? You're the guy See, in the bathtub. See, the joke is he didn't try. <laughs> Yes, exactly. I hate you! I fucking hate you! Because you make me feel like a piece of shit for liking something. Did you laugh at the bathtub guy's part? Yeah, because it was yeah, funny! Totally you fucking their minds. asshole! Really? <laughs> they were totally and losing their minds. I wasn't. Because I'm cool. But it's not like you it's were, a- You were all there watching that one. No, I wasn't like, losing my mind like you guys. It's not like it was a funny joke, it was just like I recognized that that's the way they talk on that show. Rick and Morty is really funny, but that was like that was like us making up a Rick and Morty bit. Our prompt is kind of. I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna have this discussion. Right now. No, <laughs> Morty, Morty, bleh, I'm not. I'm throw not your sister into the black hole. Well, that's really frigged up, Rick. Okay, I'll do it. You know. Hey, like, hey, they would say the word in Rick and Morty. How dare you? <laughs> it's very true. Yeah. I think too. people should be allowed to laugh at what they want to Fuck. laugh at, oh, unless it's impractical jokes. The cyberbullying is out of control. Someone said the thing I laughed at isn't funny. Oh my god, you two <laughs> dumb doofuses. <laughs> you know, Wait, I was making what? a joke there, and I uh, was talked over. Did... Was... Me too, I'm the bathtub guy. A word that, should... that, you... <laughs> a word that should be in the dictionary, but isn't. A F Yala Yokel? Frig? A uh, Gile Yokel? Or Christian? <laughs> Is this a meme that I don't know? Because why did you both have almost the same word there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed someone tried to spell it without looking at it and failed. If one of them has like significantly more than the other, I'm going to be so surprised and one of, them, one of them is in last, so wow! get ready. <laughs> wow. Oh, it was the Icelandic volcano. Okay, I tuned out on that part. Yeah, yeah.
and the other one wasn't second? <laughs> he spelled it wrong. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I yeah. thought you both just mashed the keys and somehow had almost the oh, same that word. that would be amazing. Chad, there is Did a place know? for Ricky Gervais being the bathroom guy, but I'm not sure if it's the time or the place right now. But the jokes are percolating in my head. He would half-heartedly apologize for having a dick in case that offended you, because he seems like the kind of person who would think that that's incendiary in 2018. I'm so right, okay. Yeah. You know what? I'll just do the bit. Right, yeah, do, do it. it yeah. <laughs> Insult a lot of people. Let's go. Oh yeah. It uh, starts like that. That's how he talks. It's right, the yeah. funniest when you describe the bit instead of just actually. <laughs> right. Yeah. Doing it. Oh yeah, I'm the bathtub guy. That's not how he sounds. Goy. <laughs> I'm the bathtub guy. Let's do this. Oh yeah, no, no, I'm the bathtub guy. See, and this would be worth it. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. I didn't have anywhere to go from there, so. <laughs> oh, I'm the bathtub guy. <laughs> Starts with oh, a big I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> How's it going, lads? Do you think the game will be good? I mean, yeah. I mean, I think like, those guys are. Well, that guy, he's funny. The trailer was really bad, though. In my opinion. I do. I really actually do. But that was like, ah, uh, you know, the trailer's due tomorrow. Oh, E3's tomorrow? That really snuck up on me. Alright, just shoot me as the bathtub guy. That seems like a bit that. You would do with your friends when you're like 15. Yeah. Do the bathtub guy. I love the, love the guy in the bathtub. <laughs> Kills every time. <laughs> hey Ryan. Oh no. Scientists say erosion, but we all know the grand. Scientists say erosion, but we all know the Grand Canyon was actually made by underpaid artists or dinosaurs. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. You know who it was actually made by though? The bathtub guy. Oh god, why did I? I, I didn't even expect it. I didn't I, I actually no, I didn't, didn't expect, expect it. it. I'm, I'm, I'm mad. It. I'm mad that I didn't expect it. Because you thought we pivoted, but we didn't. Yeah, I'm really yeah. mad. No, I, didn't, didn't I gotta get better at identifying the pivots on this show. It's <laughs> yeah. Really should have. You can no. hear the rusty nut turn if you listen close enough. You know who's really good <laughs> at pivoting? No, see, he's gonna pivot again. He's gonna yep. subvert my expectations. He's right, I was he gonna does. say a basketball player. <laughs> a rejected crayon color. Dick sludge purple or haha -ha racism. <laughs> Own up. Did you guys call it skin color when you were a uh, when you were a kid? Austin did. What? I, def I definitely did. I always called the peach pencil crayon skin color. Mm. Um. Yeah. Probably. I mean, like, I guess that's just born out of not really having a, an understanding of why that would be offensive, right? Yeah. Uh, I grew up in a very diverse environment, so <laughs> well, I don't yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I, don't I still don't that. understand why it's offensive. <laughs> I'm just joking. What if you just said <laughs> a skin color? <laughs> My skin color, I guess. <laughs> right. And then be offended at what they hand you. Really? <laughs> Oh, my skin is bright pink, huh? Invent a new word for the toilet that sounds like it's from Shakespeare. Wally Wonger or feces upon Avon? Chad, in North America, Avon is the thing that middle-aged ladies in the suburbs go around door to door and sell. So I don't know how it's pronounced. You know, I actually want to know, like, is, is that still a thing? Yeah. They still do Avon? Well, it's various products. It's not just Avon. I thought that was like a Mac. Avon, that sucked your butt. Oh, someone in my chat says my mom does Avon. Well, yeah, there you go. go. Still, still happens. Take any well-known restaurant and slightly change its name to something inappropriate: Taco Hell or Contalo Fried Clits. Yeah. All right, I like it. Said slightly, slightly change its <laughs> name. Yeah, a slight change. Just a little, uh, a little touch right. of moderation there. I have, a, I have a side question about Avon. Yeah. Is it a pyramid scheme? Probably. See, I don't know. Yeah, I go cut to love fried clits. <laughs> because sure. they, but is it? Because I don't. We had an Avon lady in our town, and she yeah. never tried to come around and be like, "You should sell Avon." She yeah. always came around and was like, buy some lotion. Mm. She was never like, if I get 15 people working under me, I get to be, a, I get a yacht. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, you might only be seeing the lowest <clears throat> tier of the multi-level marketing, so mm. you'd think it wasn't stratified, but it is. Or she was just really bad at it, maybe. Maybe. Pick any city name and make it sound dirty. Aston or Shititsko? 
Shy, shy Titsko? Yeah, that works. Do you guys yeah. know anybody mired in MLM hell? Not MLM hell, by the way. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. <clears throat> I know a few. I wouldn't say they're mired in it, though. I'd, I'd say, like, blissfully participating. Are Maybe. they on, like, the third tier? <laughs> yeah, do they have the yacht yet? Or the, pink, the, uh, yeah, the pink, pink card? Do they have a vision board? I think so. They might have a vision card game, though. Do they try you guys want to go in on me with a, a timeshare? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Fuck it. I don't even need any more information about it. Pets, thank you for being here. You're probably off work, but uh, I can't run ads, and I'm going to need this handled stat. I need this to be... It's put it on the sprint for yesterday. Fixes Dude, in the works. All right, thank you. That was like the one standout thing that my old boss from that machinery company said to me <clears> that made me realize, oh, this dude's an asshole. Oh no! <laughs> he, he told me that needed to be done yesterday. Oh, and I'm like, oh, and you're did like, it? well, then you should have told me about it four days yesterday. ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. how do you spell the volcano again? <laughs> <laughs> You guys want to start a pyramid game, Colt? <gasps> That's a great idea. Start a Bro, pyramid we... game, Colt. You know the orgy idea? Can we subcontract out other people to do the orgy idea and we just get paid for it? Just add on more steps. There you go. Pyramid, pyramid scheme, Colt orgy. It sounds like it would work. Dude, oh, if we can just make an acronym for it, I think we're in business. Yeah, and then rejected... just become evangelists, too. Yeah, a rejected Monopoly piece. Fidget spinner or low-income worker? Each <laughs> franchise owner can pick their own style of mask for their own orgies. They can put their own personal like spin it. on yeah. it. I saw one, because I was on anti-MLM. It's one of my favorite. Not anti-MLM, don't worry. Awesome. <laughs> but, uh, I already used that joke. Um, the same joke. Was the same. <laughs> <laughs> and there was somebody that was like, they're selling essential oils, but they did it in like the most idiotic way possible, where they're like, such a shame that Anthony Bourdain okay, left us so young. If only ah, he had oh, used no. essential oils, he could have, we could have saved him. Yikes. And you're like, wow, yeah, that's yikes. horrible. That's a real yikes right there. <laughs> Gotta give him a nice jobs, big hard yikes on CBD. that one. Yeah. A little known perk of being U.S. president. Making a lot of money or all the pussies to grab. Yikes. That's a fun word to say. Yeah. It's good, yeah. It's I mean, good. like, he's not wrong, but, <laughs> you know, it's really bad timing. <laughs> Neither of those were my prompt, chat. <laughs> <laughs> They always think it's me! A terrible name for a dragon. Dragonite or that one Icelandic volcano? Oh. Yeah. If you had attempted the Ayo Yoko I'm gonna give it to him for that little bit of peppers. <laughs> it's like the, it's the sound of the introduction to Rocco's Modern Life. I was born. I didn't watch that show, but man, did I like see the theme at least a thousand times. In the Rocco. <laughs> the unsexiest thought you can have. Big fat dude jacking it, making tons more money, or I'm nice. late on my taxes. Thunder. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> I'm going to need a clip for that one. I hope it sounded as good to everyone oh, in chat as it did for us. It was great for me. It was perfectly in sync. <laughs> How did you sync that up? Was there like a hidden drum beat I didn't hear? <laughs> he said the word and then we okay. had to come in. Yeah. We, knew, we know what our cue is. All right. Something you should not do. Well. I don't know what the next line is. <laughs> he goes, what can I do? I remember that I one. Goes, da, da, <laughs> How do we get two separate? Get in my house! <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Something you should not do while crowd surfing: your taxes or cover yourself in broken glass. Oh man, I do want to try to challenge myself now, though. The taxes thing, not the not the second mm. one. A lot more boring of a song. Taxes. <laughs> <laughs>
I was caught! I I did I did I your fucking ass. Okay, we'll see. Like the joke oh, is in taxes. Oh yeah, audit even better. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look at the scores. You don't have to change one line. I was shaking at the knees. Can I come again, please? I remember now. <laughs> it's like, every ACDC song is just about <laughs> coming, <laughs> just with some <laughs> and some optionally added element of criminality. <laughs> Highway to Hill? Is Highway to Hill! <laughs> the way you said it, I was like, what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> Highway to Hill. Highway to Hill, all about coming. Shoot the thrill, I'll give you that. That's all about coming. Thunderstruck is too. Thunderstruck is about, about yeah, they meant some about ladies. about the Omega Nut. <laughs> He's talking about the best nut he bing, ever had. Bing, 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 bing. Shook me all night long is absolutely about that one is just, that one's not even trying to like lie, like it's just very upfront. Yeah. The most disgusting breakfast cereal. Dandruff flakes, cum flakes, smegma flakes, back flakes, Swedish skin flakes. Really covered every angle on that, so, I Yeah, think. we got it. Good job, everybody. Which one's the grossest? Smoking a pancake, bong in a blintz. Smoking a back flake? You, you know, know what I don't need? like yeah, about ACDC is they have that song, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Yeah. If you That's ever come out with a song like that, come. you know that in real life, he must be the straight edge most motherfucker you've ever met. Because if that ever had to be played in court, it would not go well at all. <laughs> <laughs> he's thre that, he's wait, threatening to kill people. Again? The most the, the most straight edge, the straight edge <laughs> most motherfucker <laughs> guy out there. <laughs> <laughs> The brain overclock has become <laughs> You know, you, you just put the, restart. You put the four words out there, and then <laughs> your brains will <laughs> just put them in the right order. <laughs> it's like when they give you those pages that are like, you don't need all the letters in the words. Your brain can just figure it out itself. Oh, that's so old school, because now it would be like, only... So kindergarten students have a 90% success rate on this test, but only 4% of adults can do it. Post below if you did it. I did it. Post Malone. I did it. Yeah, Post Malone, I definitely heard. <laughs> I said congratulations. Hey, his new album is really pretty good. I don't know any Post Malone songs. That's my impression of Dan singing a Post Malone song. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> With a little dyslexia joke thrown in there. Ooh, mm -hmm. spicy. I thought Post Malone was the guy that reads letters or something. What? He gets like letters in the mail and then he puts them on his blog and he's he just, like, this is inspiration. You, that's, did you just come up with that because he has the word post in his name? <laughs> I was gonna say. Maybe. <laughs> like, you thought it was that person, but you I think you just created that person in your head. Oh no, no, yeah, there's a YouTuber named Postman Lone. <laughs> I remember, yeah. No, I, 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 I'm a big fan of him. So that isn't what he does? No. No, he's, he's, he's a singer slash rapper. No, know. he talks over music. Oh. And then delivers the mail. <laughs> Alright. I like yeah. my idea better. Could he try that? <laughs> you should propose it to him, yeah. He's got the right name. He, he was on Twitch a few times. I bet he is familiar with you. Oh, wow. That's That's an honor. Hey, Ninja's been on Twitch a few times. You think he's familiar with me? Oh, sure, yeah, of course. He knows where his competition's coming from. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ryan, he can actually sing. So I just want to make people mad. Here's one for you. Hey, you really good at fuck, that. fuck, uh, fuck John Lennon. Wow, hey, hey, man. Jeez, dude. What's your dude. deal? Here's my impression of John Lennon. Oh, I was in the Beatles, yeah. Wow! What oh, it's me, John Lennon! <laughs> I mean, lads. What have I done lately, eh? Nothing. Yeah, the Beatles are good, but they haven't put out a new album lately, so it's like, what are they yeah, even worth? Yeah, what have I done for me lately? Oh, hello, I'm John Lennon! <laughs> <laughs> now do a Yoko Ono impression. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm Yoko Ono! <laughs> Yoko Ono! <laughs> <Yoko. laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Yoko Ono. Oh no, it's Yoko again. Hi, I'm back here to steal your boyfriend. Here to be blamed for breaking up the band once more. That's right, I'm Yoko. <laughs> I don't like this lady. Where's the best place to hide from the shadow monsters? Behind them or the dark? Da, 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 da. I think mean, you can kill every Dark Souls boss if you just go behind them, so I guess that's the right answer. I'm guessing you were the other one, dot 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 dot. Wait, you wouldn't write dot dot dot. <laughs> that's too many dots. No, I would never write. Three I have an internal dots. error. No ellipses. For Who me. would use this? Only Austin would use this many. He's dots, right. He's gonna. Yeah. 
Fuck shadow monsters. <laughs> Would you Whoa. stop being so controversial? What the fuck? We're man? almost done with the show. Nine Watch Dogs yeah, one so is okay. There are people with feelings Jesus. too. I'm Ameri sorry, Chad. This guy just gets out of control at the end of the show. America's Jesus. energy crisis would be over if we made cars that ran on dead road shit or tweets. Oh yeah, there you go. What is a road shit? <laughs> Most yeah, motherfucker. Get out of the car and... <laughs> what was what was the actual series of words? Straight edge most motherfucker. Straight edge <laughs> most motherfucker. You know, it's the only place that I'm aware of where you just drive past things that have just they're dying and decaying all around you, and nobody even pretends they're there. They're just, just there. What are you supposed to I do? Talk, what is a dead road shit? Roadkill? Road kill. Yeah, dead yeah. things. Oh, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Dead animals just laying around. Put, put it, pick it up and put it in your trunk? Or do you like <laughs> toss it over the fence or something? The city, I Take think a little grave for it up. and say a prayer oh, and we should have happy afterlife. The worst, na the worst <laughs> name for a summer camp. Crystal Lake or Camp Just Sign the Waiver. Hey everyone, I'm John Lennon. <laughs> oh, it's John Lennon. Hey, I'm here to sing a song! What a coincidence, I'm also named John Lennon. I was in a Cheers, band you love. might know as the Beatles. <laughs> I was that John Lennon over there. <laughs> oh, hello, I'm John Lennon! I really like the idea of a bit where four people do a really bad John Lennon impression, and then they, at the end of the bit, they all get ready to sing, and they all sing at the same time, and they go, oh, fuck. <laughs> Forgot, we're all John Lennon. Oh, and I'm, I'm, I'm the bad top guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, John Lennon is the bad guy. <laughs> oh, it's me, I'm laying in bed again. I'm the bad guy. Something you'd love to smash with a wrecking ball. My nuts are another wrecking ball. I need some nuts and frog tails. <laughs> I'm Ringo Star. <laughs> Oh, Ringo. <laughs> it's me, George Harrison. Ringo Star. Ringo Star, oh my god. Ringo Star, yeah. He the hangs out with Postman Lowe. The, <laughs> the second thing said on the moon. Did you bring a phone charger or cut? Ah! Oh! Oh! Hey. Oh! Oh! Uh -oh. This is one small wolf. step for man! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's the John Lennon! <laughs> well, you want the revolution, yeah, yeah. Cheers, love! The Beatles are here! <laughs> just so much. It's just a little bit closer to the microphone with every impression. <laughs> Cheers, love! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's me, George Martin. He is American. Remember me, your producer? <laughs> it's me, Ricky Martin. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We're not even doing jokes anymore. No, it's just like really bad impressions. <laughs> <laughs> Were we ever? Yeah. I just got one, why do I watch this show, lol. Yeah, that's fair, honestly, yeah. I saw a best bit immediately followed by a worst bit in chat oh. at some point, so the I duality. Like we're doing pretty good. The effort. It just went into my round. Do I do this one? On John Lennon. I'm, I'm gonna get a groan. I'm just saying, I'm gonna get a groan for this answer. I'm slowly getting right. it. Right. That's fair. I'll it's a deserved a groan. groan, too. So, but, you know. My answer's gonna give you a few moans. Ooh. And then, my final answer, I'm gonna get a loan. Ooh. <laughs> hey, do you guys wanna buy some pants? Also, you wanna know what my name is? Let's take a look. Later tonight, I'll get a bone. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's long jaggings. <laughs> okay, everyone. I'm long jaggings. <laughs> Funnier than Power Cloud. Yeah. Something you promised to yell if you win this game. I'm John Lennon, or oi, it's me, John Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> I think even the people begging for this, this to end deep down can appreciate it for what it is. <laughs> Apropos of nothing at all, can anyone do a Captain Jack Sparrow impression? I can't do that, oh, but I can't. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you for not missing oh, the beat there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for other fellow investors. I'm opening a comedy inn, if anyone would like to join me. <laughs> you know you're in for a bad taxi ride when you do a string of crimes and can't leave, or they offer you a tenor to jack it. Yeah. I'm so pedantic, because <laughs> Jamie Foxx didn't... He wasn't in a taxi ride. He was driving the taxi. <laughs> what is, what is Get out of here! <laughs> you completely understood the reference, he so it's valid. He was the driver, though. I don't care. <laughs> Postman loans comedy in. <laughs> the best way to defeat terrorism is owning your own citizens for 17 years or with more terrorism. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't get the first one. I'm gonna it. need you to uh, to put a little more effort into your jokes, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I only got a gun. That was just a cacophony of noise. <laughs> <laughs> That was my Tracer Jack Sparrow, and it was a little bit, a little rough. How do you like it? Oi, I'm John Lennon. Or, <laughs> or does it offend you? Yeah. <laughs> that don't impress me much. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the prompt is just horrible. <laughs> it's a bad prompt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like ridiculous. Quiplash always ends like this for some reason. <laughs> Hopefully, it really it's does, at least kind yeah. of funny. I don't know. It tends to, yeah. <laughs> the last LSS. <laughs> <laughs> How would you fix the economy? Oi. John Lennon here. <laughs> or start a trade war with all our allies. I'm so tired of winning. I just can't stop winning. Oh man, this laughter is disguising the pain. <laughs> this is some good garbage. Yeah, yeah, it's quality. Yeah. Yum yum. How ironic, they've rebelled against John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> I was it's expecting a groan, not a win, to be honest. <sighs> That's what I mean by again. owning your own citizens <laughs> for 17 straight years. It's weird because the American economy is great right now. Yeah, it huh. pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's this fucked. Why is it going up? <laughs> well, I mean, it's not really. Look at the graphs, Bear! I know about the graphs! You know what happens with the graphs, though. <laughs> Do I? Or does John Lennon know what happens with the You mean the John Lemon? This <laughs> <laughs> fucking waste of our lives. <laughs> so, this is one of those shows where I'm like, we're gonna die one day. <laughs> and we spent we spent part of it doing this. <laughs> day well spent. I was having a shitty day before just now. I'm feeling great. The worst theme for your kid's first dance recital: Agony, The Beatles, Long Jeggings, We Didn't Start the Fire, or Hey Jude. Yeah. Surprised there wasn't more Lennons. Just three. Just sixty percent. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's me, Long Jeggings! <laughs> I was, I oh. was gonna do it. Yeah, you know, I just kinda had to at this mm. point. I hear you that it sucks that we spent our whole day doing this, but on the other hand, a bunch of people laughed and had their days improved, so I think it's worth doing. I think we've helped. Did they laugh? I think the collective <laughs> is better. You than... think this is my whole day? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm just happy to make people smile. I got way more cringe left in me this afternoon. I oh, are you recording more Fortnite or something? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Roasted! Spicy! <laughs> this is really good. We did it. We beat Quiplash. <laughs> <laughs> Nick does own your channel now. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's how it works. works. Why not? Yeah. You got it over. <laughs> well, it's, it, well, I took two days off last week, so I lost 40,000 subscribers. You might so, as well be done, yeah. <laughs> Buy low.
I do wonder. You gotta be back on the grind, though, right? <laughs> uh, rack attack, by the way. But hey. also, um, uh, what is is that a meme from something? Yeah, just... Ninja tweeted and was like, "If you're wondering why it's hard to be a streamer, I was away for two days of this thing and I lost forty thousand yeah. subscribers." And Me too, people, actually. People were like, "Oh, that must be hard to only be making like you know, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month minimum instead of four hundred and fifty thousand. And then a lot of people were like, "Yeah, but it does raise an interesting question about what it's like to make your living on this platform, where it does happen to smaller streamers as well. And uh -huh, uh -huh. as a result, it leads to the situation where people never want to take time off and." somebody said shut up he's rich and then <laughs> yeah right. well well summarized yeah. then somebody yes. jumped into my twitter feed and said hey what's it like to have a prime minister inside john lennon what's it like to have a prime minister who has <laughs> fake eyebrows and i went what are you talking about <laughs> yeah it's nice you know he's gotta worry about if he can you know afford his next ferrari <laughs> Small streamers gotta worry if they can pay rent. Yeah. It's Someone's gotta thing. look out for. Is, why doesn't they want consumer for Ninja? Like, yeah. <laughs> but I think him, it huh? does raise a question about, like, you know. <laughs> Ooh, we gotta be concerned. About you guys. He oh, is God. very rich, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but still. That's true. I think Twitch should but, bail him out for that. Honestly. I think like <laughs> if you, should, I think like, if you take a thousand Twitch Prime subs, I think if you take a day off. You should be able to submit that to Twitch, and then they just auto-renew all the subs that would have expired that day in order to make it uh, fair That's for the streamer. Oh, here, yeah, eat Ninja. If we eat Ninja, and then we can all get a part of his subs. That and makes we get sense. his power, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're sense. right, Chad. We say moi, Justin Trudeau. <laughs> oui, c'est moi, me. Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Bienvenue, mon ami, John Lennon. You know, there's a special place in hell for Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Look, you're allowed to make the trade war joke, but this is a bar here, Rob. I thought it was a special place in hell for all Canadians. Uh, it's could, just yeah. like a more polite place in hell. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if you're going to burn down the White House, you deserve it. Fuck it. <laughs> Free Molson, bud. Sign me, though. The CB stands. <laughs> It works. Anyway, let's take some time to pimp our channels. Why don't we start with Bear Taffy? Twitch.tv slash Roundtable Podcast. Uh, we're going to be talking about E3 and a lot more stuff on that podcast. Come on by. It's fun. A lot more stuff? Yeah. Well, okay, maybe not a lot more stuff. Maybe just next... like a bit more stuff. <laughs> yeah. I just say things, man. Don't, no, don't fine. literally interpret me. I, I just want to go vaguely, you know? I just want to kind of spit some words out and hopefully people catch the message in general. I mean, it's pretty much like what we do is you just talk for like a couple hours a day about nothing and then well i mean in your case it's usually like 12 but yeah well 12 talk hours about some some topics what about john lennon's case also why don't you pay your channel austin mm, twitch.tv slash last underscore gray underscore wolf robert yeah hi i'm rob you can find me on all pack patrol everywhere twitch twitter and youtube also What's you're flossing <laughs> i got uh, my upper lip tucked in under itself. <laughs> why, 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 why are you doing that? Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I got a webcam on and now it's full screen because it's the end of the show and uh. so I'm looking at my face and I have to pull a funny face <laughs> because I'm too trash really obligate, 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 obligate. Uh, yeah, yeah. Find, it's really hard right. to say that without an upper lip. Um, All right, I'm awesome. going to take my upper lip too and I'll see how hard that takes. Contractually obligated? <laughs> yeah. Nicholas. I say, Rob, I say we rebrand. I think you could double viewership if you just call it Booby Night. Mm. You think so? Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. And then just put like two ladies kissing mm. as the thumbnail. Yo, it's working for Is us. It working? Is it working? Are we time. at a million yet? I not mean, currently, yet, but I think that's tomorrow, probably. Sick. There are four tits right here, right now. So, I mean, it's ready to go, to be honest. Four tits right here. about yours and mine? No, I'm talking about my breasts and Jessica's. Oh, okay. Thanks for laughing at our stupid jokes, too. I'm really glad the last part of the stream completely overshadowed the second part and first part. <laughs> <laughs> you think it I did? I still want to know, honestly. Or we'll find out. <laughs> is the, is the, the thread up yet? I feel like the more people enjoy it in chat, the worse the Reddit thread ends up being. There's like a yeah. there's a weak correlation between it. Whenever I'm like, oh, the show was kind of lackluster, the thread is always like, best show in weeks. Right? Yeah, no, I agree with you, honestly. Can't we just fluff the thread right now? Uh, well, oh, I think on. we just did. Maybe, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, no like, it's not like... up yet. We can't uh, see who's on the show. Damn it. They like to do, like, what 
We don't say though, so now they're not gonna fluff it. Mm. Oh, but what if it, me saying that makes them fluff? Like it's a, it's infinite recursion. Like I, what do we do? Do Our they... so forth is surprisingly tied up in Reddit threads, so you guys should all vote on how good the show was. What would they do if John Lennon told them to upvote a thread? Mm. Ooh, what's a Wait, thread? I thought that's understand. against Reddit TOS. We can't do that. <laughs> what's a TOS? I'm a lad from Liverpool. No, breaking the law is not cool, Ryan. <laughs> it's it shows like these that wonder, make me wonder why, like, we get appreciation posts ever. No, the show wonders, too. No, you get appreciation posts because there's always, like, one dude hates each one of us individually, and it's a different dude for each one of us. And it's they true, always, yeah. and every time they're like, good show. They're like, well, it would be a good show except for this person. <laughs> right, yeah. And then they post, like, an essay length diatribe and then they go down votes really okay. and then you make the appreciation thread <laughs> has there ever been someone that was like this would be a better show if ryan wasn't on it because i've never seen that <laughs> yeah i don't think i've seen that either honestly i, I see it in my own <laughs> chat though there was that one dude <laughs> It happens every time we get into something even like mildly political. They're like, "Well, oh, I wonder when NL got blue pilled," and then right. <laughs> oh. that's been happening. I take like, one blue fault. pill and one red pill every day just to keep me perfectly balanced. Oh, that's, that's how you end idea. up. I think that's called taking the black pill. <laughs> you take your brown pill. <laughs> I think it makes your balls fall off, Barry. You should be careful. No oh, fuck. Anyway, I'm gonna hang up. Perfect. All right. Good. Right. Thanks for having me up. Oh, but this is, this is, yeah, of course. Uh -huh. It won't be. I don't know what he was. I think he was saying I wasn't gonna be there tomorrow. But man, if you can remember it, you weren't really there. That's not a good John Lennon impression. Oh, my brain is melting.